Hello everyone and welcome back to my JAXA Advanced Start RP1 career in Kerbal Space Program 1.12. We are continuing on after having reached orbit for the first time. It is June 1st, 1976. I'm a little bit behind JAXA as far as when they actually had their first launch from Sanagashima and did the things. Uh, so, well, we'll try and speed up a little bit. I suppose I should get an administrator and these things, potentially. Um, confidence costs, I don't care about, um, I don't use that that much. You know, you know, maybe this time, as opposed to the European Space Agency version, I will be doing more fast things, since we do have the heads up, the advanced technology. Let's, let's get the Space Brothers bunch. That, that would be probably the best. Um, speed of vessel integration, rollout and recovery is super important. And integration speed of human rated vehicles. Material nodes, research speed. I guess we can deal with that, especially with the head start. So let's get our two space brothers in, maybe. More time to crew retirement. Speed of crew training, that's important. And more, uh, but we have to pay them more, but okay. That, that's a good start. Those two. I feel good about those two. We don't quite have enough money to replace the Vanguard engines with the nicer LR-79. First biological satellite. Advanced capsule and transmit science after a day. But we don't have to bring it back? Normally the biological samples have to be brought back. But then its example is Sputnik 2, which, you know, Laika died. <laughs> so, I guess that they're forcing us to kill a dog, is that what they're trying to do here? But we've sort of, because we've already unlocked the technology for heat shields, but do we have enough capability to bring back? I guess, you know, 400 kilograms. Hmm. It's offered one of the... It's offered this Polar Orbit satellite one. Even though I don't have the early satellite light program. But then it's not paying us for those anyway, so... I guess we have to do this one. That one is a little bit outside of our capabilities. This one isn't. We could do that. Well, it's a sounding payload of a thousand units, though. But I still think we can do that. But uh, let's pick this one up. It's the one we need to do. But so far we haven't actually put a payload on the Vanguard version, the N0. Deep Space Avionics takes 47,000. We're gonna need it. But uh, let's be clear. It says very specifically, a capsule containing a monkey or small dog. It says that. And we're required to send it up for this contract. So if we don't bring it back, we're definitely killing a monkey or small dog. So I feel like we need control and the ability to bring it back. Therefore, well, we could use early avionics, though. Let's say we have 0.4 tons. Then we don't have to unlock the deep space, but we'll need a lot of power. But it's only supposed to stay up there for a day. We need one day of power. Let's make the diameter smaller. We still need to have a good heat shield. That's 10,000, but I'll unlock that. Mercury heat shield. Maybe we should have a smaller parachute. And then we'll have a propulsion system on top. That's too long. <laughs> it sticks out too much. I don't like that. I think this thruster will be fine. But we take 26,000 to unlock MMH and Mon 3. I'm not gonna uh, waste time with the HTP option, I don't think. Hydrazine, we can't even unlock. We don't have the technology. I think we'll go straight to MMH and Mon 3. How long do we have? Three days? That's too long. That's enough to deorbit this, but I don't know if that's all we're looking for. 
It says returning the sample is crucial for scientific and ethical reasons, but their contract doesn't require it. Have we gotten the caster ones yet? We have, but they're 13, uh, 19,000. It, technically, the N1 used caster twos, but then we're still we still got the Vanguard engines, so it doesn't matter. Use three of them. Ah, width is too much. What if we actually made the upper stage the same diameter as this and put two of them? Why does it seem like we're not getting more delta V? <laughs> This isn't helping us much. Well, we've unlocked MH and Mon 3 thrusters. Well, we are unlocking them. That's the 26,000 in the unlock cost, so... We will have the little stage. Okay, well, we're gonna need a better controller if we're gonna have that much. Well, that's looking nicer overall. We're gonna need a much bigger payload fairing. I don't think I want eight minutes up here, though. Well, that's not too much for the fairings. How much can I make them bigger? Okay, that's, that's definitely too much. Okay, right there. I just don't want to clip the heat shield. This tank is troubling. That's very expensive. We went 1.4 meters to be cheaper. Okay, so we have our advanced biological capsule that we are trying to recover. Heat shield and one ton controller, one ton spacecraft here, RCS, MH and Mon 3, which we'll have to unlock. And the thruster is running on MHM on 3. That is a HP tank, currently underutilized for later purposes. And then we have an MHM on 3 thruster up there, fed by fuel in here, and little MHM on 3 thrusters, and the parachutes. And the parachutes are. Okay, yes, I know. I was just right clicking them to emphasize. They're 4.4 tons, we're 0.379. Delta V wise, we seem okay. And we're still using eight Vanguard engines. So I'm gonna tool these things. And I'm gonna unlock those things. Oh, and we have to upgrade the GSE. Okay. Well, fine. We'll uh, save this. And we will unlock the. Uh, we'll do the GSE. Maybe we should upgrade the width and height, uh, no, width and length, so that we can accommodate the boosters better. Not, no, no, I guess we can only do integers. Okay. Oh, we have to recondition! Well, can't you recondition it with the upgrades? Adjustable heat shield. Okay, Mercury heat shields cost 20,000. I think I can just pay this one and I'll do it. Okay, well, now we have no money. Not enough funds to integrate. Great. Okay, well, we'll wait. I guess I'll just fizz warp. Uh, not fizz warp, but <laughs> warp to complete that. Okay, well, we're gonna have. Uh, it doesn't require constant control, right? We may be slightly uncontrolled for a few seconds after launch. Okay. Throttle up, and SAS won't work immediately. We'll uh, actually just shift to Smart ASS as quickly as possible. All right, ignition. We'll go with that and launch and launch. Oh, oh, oh! There we go. <laughs> we are past the speed of sound. And fairings. Comms are going to be interesting though. I'm actually going to arm the parachutes now. 
And we can start the experiment. Make sure it does experimental things. Okay, it is running. Needs a day. Oh, you know what? It's Applapsis has been above 1,500. I don't think this is going to get there. We've got more than we need, but probably not that much. Mm, it might be in a tough calm situation, though. Or just a tough situation in general, maybe. No, oh, we don't have any comms now. Okay, this might be re-entering a little bit too soon. Oh no! Okay. We need to fix that. First of all, we need to get to a higher apoapsis than I was expecting. Yes, unfortunately we killed the biological sample. And we're not Soviet, so we can't pretend that we didn't <laughs> this will take even longer. Let's just start off with avionics this time. We have to do the GSE again? Great. I still don't know if this is going to be enough. We'll see. Anyway, here we go. Hopefully we can recover our biological sample this time. But as far as getting as high as they want it, I don't know. We will see. But at least we should try to recover it. Alright, throttle up. SAS is on. We've got eight engines. And launch. I can't believe we're still using eight Vanguard engines. Anyway, they're actually not that bad. Not that bad. Sure, we lose one on every launch, but not that bad. Okay, looking good. We are going steep this time, for calm's sake. Okay, separation and ignition and fairings. Feel like at that separation we were actually lower, though. Let's keep going up a bit. Okay, go. Guess maybe I don't have to hold the pitch? I don't know. We're gonna lose comms. So then this is gonna be on its own. I don't know how it's gonna do. Uh, I guess Amalek is sorted there, but it's a stretch. Amalek. Well, we did pick up Amalek, I think. Okay, we've got Amalek. But... There's not much I can do anyway. One end to be fairly low if possible. Because it's easier to deorbit like that. 200 kilometer periapsis. And then 1,500 kilometer apoapsis. I think I'll cut it there and then add the periapsis boost up. Okay, where the presences are periapsis. <laughs> we still haven't unlocked that stuff, because we've never had enough money to get the tracking station upgrade. Lots of science. Lacking some upgrades. We'll have to wait until that one. I can't pronounce that. Malargui? Malargu? I don't- I've never heard of that one. Okay, ignition. Okay, so our battery power has to hold out for a day. We barely have enough electric charge, maybe. Can we turn something off? I guess we don't need to do the entire biological sample right now. Well, that's stopped. It doesn't care whether we've done the entire bio biological sample. I think we'll get what we've got here, so that we don't lose all our power. We must deorbit at Apoapsis. 
Okay. <laughs> Just okay, that doesn't work. Technically, we have the Dior refuel at the top anyway, but... I don't know... If this is going to be safe for the Mercury heat shield. It is 1,500 kilometers. They forced us to get to 1,500 kilometers. Which is not nice. That's like deliberately trying to kill Laika. But anyway. They better have made sure that the heat shield will work. We can do a slightly radial burn to help it out a bit. But I think this is our last chance right here. We won't have comms. I can't plot it. Just trying to mitigate the severity of it. I think we'll just cut it. The comm line is getting stretched. So will it orient properly here? Yeah. As we can see. Parachutes are armed. Hopefully we can bring our biological sample back this time. Okay, parachutes are deployed. And please don't sink, please don't sink, please don't sink. Normal recovery. Okay. 44 credits of science. Now we're talking. Alright, so... That means what we need to do... We could do the polar orbit sat one, but we just need the first scientific satellite. It has to have a cosmic ray experiment. It needs to get to the high orbit too. We're gonna need boosters for sure. One day's worth of science returned from it. Object D. Alright, well, that seems to be the next thing, so we'll do the next thing. Uh, as far as the... Funding, well, we're right in the middle anyway, and it's flat. We've got room for X-plane research only. Can we get the admin, admin? No, we can't get the admin building. Well, we could, but no, we, yeah, we'll run out of money like that. So, can we put boosters on? 21 seconds. Well, we don't need the recovery bit here. We just need to toss the cosmic ray experiment up. So none of that is necessary. One day's worth is all they wanted. Now we've got Delta V without the uh, other stuff. Maybe I should put other experiments in. We should probably put more electric charge actually. Plenty of Delta V. Maybe I don't need the boosters. Because we removed the experiment. I think we're alright. Well, we need the whole satellite to be at least a thousand kilograms, though. Will this still have one ton by the time we get to that orbit? As far as the antenna is concerned, we haven't paid for the other tech levels yet, so... Maybe I'll put more electric charge. I'm a little bit worried about that. Unlike the previous one, it's going to be transmitting the whole time. We got the contract. Well, we'll see. Okay, SAS on, throttle up, a ignition. And launch. Okay, separation and ignition, and fairings. Well, we can probably start the cosmic ray science. I need it to hold out on comms until I stage. 
After that, hopefully we'll pick up armor like. Okay, you staging. I don't think we'll be one ton by the time we get to the right orbit. We'll see how much, how short we are, but we're not going to be one ton. Well, we can get into the right orbit, but we're not going to be one ton. So, yeah. I'm surprised it doesn't checkmark the orbital situation, at least. Checkmark Earth. So. We can still get the science, I guess. We'll see how long it lasts. Okay, so this didn't quite work out. We'll need to be able to launch something heavier. I guess we have to put the boosters on. So, back to Space Center. <laughs>